Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys, uh, and actually over the next few days, I wanted to show you guys an unboxing of this particular series of miniatures that are made in collaboration with uh, Rement and Hello Kitty. And this particular um, series is Waku Waku Shogakse, and it's just about uh, fun stuff for elementary school in Japan. And um, I bought the whole box of all eight, and sometimes at stores and online you can find these. They guarantee that the contents will be just the uh, complete set. You can see it even says here, this label on the box confirms a complete set for this series. So you don't have to worry about trying to buy each one individually. You're guaranteed to get it. Usually it's at a price that's a little less than if you buy it straight out. So actually it's a really good deal. Um, and I was just going to go through and show you guys an unboxing of each of these as I do this. But really quick before I did that, I wanted to show you guys another benefit of getting this kind of a box like this where it's pre-decided. I don't know if you guys can see here, but there's this, um, that's upside down. <laughs> On the inside of the box is this um, kind of part of the cardboard that you can cut out that gives you this kind of desk uh, so that you can set things up to look like what you see on the cover here. Um, and you can kind of arrange it so that you can create this space to display everything, which is really fun. So I can't wait to get it all open and show you guys how it all looks when it's all out and together. And these things are all kind of special to me just because I happen to have uh, a daughter who's in elementary school and another daughter who will be starting next year. So all of these things are really familiar to me. And, you know, if you get a chance to, um, you know, if you happen to be coming here or you have children that are coming here, then this kind of a thing can be a lot of fun. So this is what the box looks like for these guys. And I'm just going to uh, figure out which one is number one here so I can film these in order. But, uh, and then I'll show you guys how all this looks as we take things apart here. So here again, like I said, is the box, and I've actually peeked inside to see which one was which. This is again a set that I got all of them in, and so I was guaranteed to have, you know, all of the eight pieces that are part of the series. This particular one has, uh, which is number one here on the top, so there's the uh, Londo cell, which is the uh, little backpack that kids use here, and then this little shoes bag, and then the shoes that they wear inside the school when they take off their running shoes and leave them in a shoe box uh, kind of place, a uh, little kind of um, uh, set of shelves that are at the entrance of a school. So, uh, the title of this particular issue is Itekimasu, which means, uh, you know, I'm going to school. So it's kind of a cute little, or not necessarily school, it just means I'm going, I'm leaving, bye. So, um, but inside, uh, this whole series does feature something inside. There's a piece of gum, yay, just because, you know, you really want that. And then you can see here inside we've got all of these fun pieces. And like I said, there's the backpack and the shoe box, and then you can see the little shoes. And these are just like a simple canvas shoe with a rubber sole, and usually you put your name on the top. Um, sometimes they have them that are like uh, characters, but these have cute little Hello Kitty on them. They're adorable. Uh, these are red because they're for a girl. Um, boys wear blue ones usually. Now to be completely fair, uh, usually you see these kind at kindergarten and preschools more. Once you go to a public um, elementary school, there's usually a shoe that's decided for the school as a whole, and both boys and girls wear the same color. For instance, at my daughter's elementary school, it's a green kind of rubber-soled shoe. Um, so it's not exactly like this. But let's see here. Let me get this open with some scissors so I don't make a ton of noise. So first off, we have the cute little uh, backpack, and this is just adorable. It's so well made. You've got the little handles here, and this even kind of moves gently. You don't want to <laughs> pull it too much, but there's a little latch here, which you can open up. It just snaps. 
that's not really metal it's just painted uh, rubber but then inside is what most of these backpacks look like there's a main base area here and then a little front pocket for you to put things uh, you, you buy one of these when you start in first grade and you use it for the next six years. So uh, you take really good care of it. Usually they're a nice waterproof material or a, a treated material so that it resists the rain. Um, if it's raining really hard, some kids, especially when you're in your first grade year, there's a little uh, pouch you can put over it to keep it safe. Um, so uh, most of the time girls get red and boys get black, but there are literally a rainbow of colors available these days. Um, we we were lucky and a were able to search out for something that was a little older than some of the other series and we got ours for like under fifty dollars which is an amazing deal usually at the cheapest these are about two hundred dollars and if you want hello kitty or any of those kind of brand ones uh benetton united colors of benetton those kinds those are five six or seven hundred dollars so Expensive gifts, usually uh, grandparents buy these for the children as they start off their school year. So you've got the Londo cell there. And then we also have the little bag for the shoes. It's pretty cute. And this does pop open so that you can actually put the shoes inside. Um, and it's just got little Hello Kitty ready, written on there. A lot of times the bags for the shoes are canvas material and usually there's a bunch of other bags that you have to have for holding your books and things like that so you usually get a set so that they all match and I'll show you guys actually my daughter's set sometime so you can kind of see what it's like but I like the little apple there I don't know if you guys can see that with the lighting but that's an apple right there and then these are the little shoes and they're just really super cute with a cute little Hello Kitty accent there on the top um, and these just like I said they slide right into the bag and then you just go to school with both of these and uh, beginning of the week you take these you leave these at school the whole week and then when you're done with the week you bring them home and usually clean the shoes up before you go back to school the following Monday and uh, every day you bring your Orlando cell with all your homework in it and textbooks are usually bought uh, every year so kids have their own copies and they um, you know uh, do that every year. You don't you you don't ever share old textbooks with younger siblings. You always buy new ones. So, whole lot of new stuff and things being wasted, really. <laughs> But this is so cute. Oh my god, I love it. So this series is going to be a lot of fun to look at for sure. And if you just like things that are Japanese in terms of the culture here, having this series from this Hello Kitty series here of uh, the elementary school is pretty fun, I would say, for sure. So um, I'll be sharing more of this series as uh, we go through uh, over the next few days. And if you guys have any questions, or if you've seen another Remant series that you'd like to see me do an unboxing of, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye!